In 1950s, there was a huge change in the environment of humans started. And this change is continuing in a very impressive way that confuses the immune system. Immune system is a very uh, highly interactive network that makes decisions on almost every aspect of health and disease. And the immune system is confused in a way that environmental agents are now making the immune system to think that if you are exposed to pollens, allergens, the immune system thinks that this is a threat and starts an immune response. This immune response is increasingly uh, affecting the population, which increased to about 50% of European population in allergic diseases, for example. So this is the main reason for the increase of chronic respiratory disease. When the immune system is affected by the environment, two main mistakes happen. The first one is immune tolerance. The immune system should make decisions to tolerate the environment, to tolerate pollens, allergens that are non-infectious. And this mistake should be targeted for prevention. So the first uh, uh, area that we should target is immune tolerance induction. The second one is that environmental agents are affecting the tissue barriers, mainly epithelial barriers in the skin, on the lung, and uh, these barriers are affected very negatively, so that they should be targeted. The strategy will be prevention of uh, epithelial barrier and uh, also induction, induction of immune tolerance. It's a big issue to bring these scientific terms to lay public. We have to make sure that the whole world understands that these changes since 1950 are affecting and making diseases. So organizations such as patient organizations, EFA, European Academy of Allergy and Clinical Immunology, and organizations like Euphoria will be the platforms to bring this to lay public.